Yeah. Hired security strapped with AR-15s or shotguns, standing guard and walking the property of this North Philly gas station and convenience store. This is supposed to be a city, right? And you got your kids walking around. Guns like this would be on the battlefield. Corey Berry says she's on board with it. If you're trying to get gas, you live in a bad area, and the only place is here, and they're getting robbed all the time. I mean, I support the owner. Neil Patel is the manager of this Carco shop franchise at Broad and Clearfield. We are tired from this all nonsense, robbery, drug trafficking, racketings, all kind of hanging around all gangs. He shared with me these videos of what has led up to this drastic response to crime at his business. Over the past few weeks, he says his store was trashed by young people an ATM stolen out of the store. And he says his car was vandalized while parked at the store. They're forcing us to hire the security, high level security, state level. I am fearful for my safety of my employee as well as my nice neighborhood, all customers. So three weeks ago, he hired the Pennsylvania site state agents. We were Kevlar. We are trained. My guys go to training every other week. They're proficient with this. They're proficient with their taser. They know the laws. Andre Boyer is the chief of the company. As a Pennsylvania state agent, that's what it says. The law tells us that we have a right to protect this property in any, any means necessary and whatever force necessary to be used to protect it. This man told employees he's against it. I asked Patel about it. They feel like using guns, you know, when we have such a big problem with guns in the city is, is not the right yeah. message. And that's not a right, I understand that, but according to the some people, violent people, they carry the gun, then they're not afraid then, and this is the protection for neighborhood and the customers. All right, so you heard him. He just said that uh, people who are against this are concerned about the armed security, but they should be concerned about the bad guys who are out there carrying the guns. Meanwhile, Patel says that he's had a store there for about 20 years. He said the crime has gotten increasingly worse just over the past few years. Um, and he tells me that in the past three weeks, he hasn't had any issues with the crime since bringing this company mm. on. Hi. Thoughts. No, I actually, uh, I, I, I applaud the guy. I mean, good for him trying to protect this store. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be financially feasible for the whole year. I, I, I think at this point, it's just a publicity stunt. I don't know. I just don't know how much something like this would cost. But I guess, I guess the way he's looking at it is he's just his losses compared to what they could potentially be. I mean, not even including the life. I'm just saying just in general, the, the stuff that's getting stolen. And maybe he just took that into consideration, whereas I think I'm losing more money by not having these people. But what, what were you saying? I'm sorry, man. So w I asked you what your position was on the people that are critical of this decision. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming the people that are against the decision, I, I think I, it's fair to say I think that they vote Democrat. I'll just say that. I, I think that they think that the gun is a problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not going to sit there and say that guns aren't problems because I think that guns are problems because they're in the wrong hands. But the issue, the gun itself is not the problem. It's the people behind the gun that's the issue. Well, the issue also... But they have, this, they have this mentality where they think the gun is a problem. Like, yeah. like, like a gun has feet and just walk around shooting people randomly. I, I don't, I don't, that, that's their perspective. They think the gun is a problem. So when they see somebody, especially with a quote-unquote scary-looking gun, I mean, if you have a quote-unquote scary-looking gun, I'm going to think twice before I commit a crime mm -hmm. here. 